Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Does the Democrats' rebuttal confirm the Nunes memo? This was discussed on the Ingram Angle. The latest in the Russia investigation, the FISA memo released by House Intel Democrats over the weekend has some key differences from the one released a few weeks ago by the Republicans. Democrats said the FISA warrant made only narrow use of that well, phony Russian dossier, and Republicans claim there would have been no warrant without it. The two sides also disagree uh, whether the FBI informed the court of the political origins of the document, which was paid for by the DNC and the Hillary Clinton campaign. So who's telling the truth? Let's debate it with Republican Congressman Matt Gates, a member of the House Judiciary Committee, and Felipe Reynes, who is the former senior advisor, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Don't laugh. Um, it's a different pronunciation. Every well, time I like to keep you guessing. <laughs> Um, let's talk about what the, this memo said. I mean, the Democrats were kind of celebrating over the weekend, Congressman Gates. They say that, look, it w really wasn't the reason this Russian investigation began. They were surveilling Carter Page for some time. Then the Papadopoulos information came up in the summer of 2016. So the Republicans are, you know, making a mountain out of a molehill here. What's most fascinating, Laura, is what's not in the Democratic memo. The fundamental premise of our argument is that cash at the Democratic National Committee was convertible into a government-sponsored warrant to spy on American citizens. And surprisingly, the Democratic memo does not say Hillary Clinton's name once, and it doesn't mention the DNC once. And so I think it's pretty evident that there are a lot of the Republican claims that are actually bolstered by the Democratic memo, including the fact that the dossier was used to get this warrant and that a Yahoo News article planted by Christopher Steele was also served as a validating basis for the fake dossier. It's shameful. Felipe. Well, <laughs> Lori, I, um, I've learned the last couple of months that if I'm going to play poker with someone, there are four people I want to play with. Donald Trump, uh, Congressman Gates, <laughs> Gates, Jim Jordan, <laughs> you started this, and uh, Devin Nunes, it's been a long because day. these guys wear their fear on their sleeve. When they yell memo, when they introduce legislation, it means they know what's coming. Literally, they probably have a heads up, but they know that there's a problem. In this case, uh, I'll let you introduce your legislation. The previous case, when you called for uh, Special Counsel Mueller to mm -hmm. be fired, that was in November. Mueller was appointed in May. Six months go by. Why do you wait for that? I'll tell you why he waited. Because five days before his legislation, Paul Manafort was indicted. Five days before the legislation, uh, the indictment, Mike Flynn was rumored to be talking to Yeah, Mueller. the same, same one that Comey said didn't lie when he was interviewed by But I think Sally the pattern Gates. here is we yeah. see memos coming out of the sky and legislation coming out of the sky when the Republican right, so, Democrat, well, the House Republicans right. are doing Donald so Trump's do you, bidding. Uh, well, we'll play poker any time, but we hold the aces in that poker game when you've got a circumstance where Mueller's team has strong evidence of bias and still to this day, not a single piece of evidence that there was any collusion. I mean, look, when you guys lost this campaign, you had to blame the Russians. You had to blame Bernie Sanders. I think at one point you guys have blamed Jill Stein. I mean, at what point does the Hillary Clinton team say, we just lost because we had a worse candidate hey, hey. and Donald Trump had the more compelling message? Guys, I want to play. At what point I do you say, I am concerned about Russia meddling in our election? I am concerned about I've Russia never meddling. Heard any of you I am. That. I am concerned about Russia meddling in elections all over the world. They do it everywhere. But, Here. but if you guys Here. ran such a. You took an oath to preserve and protect. Take uh, yes what did Obama? What did against, Obama? Hold on. Let me. Uh, it's just fun watching you two. But domestic. What why do you President, allow Russia? But what did, just was your campaign so bad that you got beat by a hundred Russian trolls? You guys were spending millions of dollars every day, and uh, you're saying a hundred Russian trolls are what? All right, you guys. guys again, service? I'm hearing That's the so House Republicans say so the Russians. Just okay, I'm glad the Democrats. I'm glad Democrats finally care about the Russians because last time I checked. <laughs> Last time I checked, they were trying to like do reset and the button, and you know we were we were smiling with Putin at co conferences and so forth. Um, Carter Page, who obviously is the, was the target of the surveillance, I interviewed him uh, a few weeks back, and I asked him specifically about this guy Igor Sechin, who's mentioned in the Democrats' memo as someone the Steele dossier claimed he met with. I asked him about that specific individual. Let's watch. So yes, I, I, I gave a speech, and the, uh, there was one s senior government official who spoke after me. He was walking out of the, the building after he gave his speech, and we had a, a very brief conversation for less than 10 seconds. Was that Igor Sechin? No, I've never met Sechin in my life. You're saying tonight that you have never met Igor, uh, I always forget his name, Sechin. You've Sechin, never met him. Yeah. 
I've, I've never met him in my entire life. Uh, but look, I'm, I'm, I'm I think good in the, in the spirit of bipartisan comedy, I, I think we could say that Carter Page is the dumbest person in this entire okay, well, scandal. If that's, a, if, that's but, a, if that's a characteristic of not being able to speak on television, whatever an empty, empty <laughs> TV sets all over But the he is the basis. He, uh, his trip in July 2016 and his work going back as far as 2013, 2014 yeah. is the basis for the yeah. FBI looking at him. So, you, so you're comfortable with the fact that in the end that this memo, uh, the, 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 the FISA warrant did not include a reference to Hillary Clinton? Well, I'll tell you, first of all, really quick, we are, I'm going to go black it said it. that it came from okay. oppo sources. Wouldn't have bothered you if you were the target of this investigation. Should, wouldn't have bothered you. It would have bothered me. Friends Guys, don't give yeah. the FBI you information would, on would, friends. It would, always comes from people. If you were the target, you wouldn't like that. I can tell you that. I wouldn't be the target because right. I didn't collude or obstruct oh, yeah. Russia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Carter, <laughs> one look at Carter Page. How are you prejudging that? There's no about Guys, 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 stop. Philippe. He can't be both dumb and kind of doing the super secret spy network. Oh, sure, he could be a bad network. spy, which okay. is how he got caught. This is how the Donald, left's Donald easy Trump Jr. Police. isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer either. <laughs> okay, well, then, then what am I going to say about Hillary Clinton if the dumb person ends up winning the election? Oh, I don't know what saying, it says about your people. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.